Hi, what's up guys, Cosby here. Today, we're going to be playing the fifth episode of our Newcastle career mode. As you can see, we've got a matchup against Arsenal now, so let's get into the video. I really hope you enjoy watching. So this match is at home. Here's our team for this. We're playing the 4-1-2-1-2 like we did in the last episode, and it was a winning formation, so I'm going to stick with it. And then here's the Arsenal team. It's a 4-3-3. It's a really strong lineup. Uh, Matweedy's in there. He's a new sign-in for them. It'll be interesting to see how they get on, because that is a very strong team. And they've passed it out. Theo Walker on the right. He's crossed it in. Giroud won the header, and he's just gone wide. Got deflected. Ramsey's got the ball in my half. Back to him now from Matweedy. He's got the shot away. It's a good save from Tim Krul. Sanchez has got the ball. He just had a free kick. And no, they got in the box. And thank God it was Koscielny. I think it was. Or was it Giroud? It was Koscielny with a shot. It goes just wide. And you can see there, Giroud's really frustrated with him. Play it through to Vinaldum. Hold off his man. Back in tight to Mbolo. Can he get a shot away? Easy save for Pet Check. It was straight at him. Just won it back. Yanmat, I think. Or Tauvan even. Uh, no, Giroud's got the ball. Thank God that's straight at him cruel. Arsenal can't finish today. And that is half time. Nil nil. Really boring first half. Very frustrating. They've defended really well. And then when they've been attacking, they just can't finish. We should be losing, to be honest. Ozil's attacking. Into Matweedy. And they've got the shot. It's hit the bar. Tim Krul surely should have had that covered. Cross the ball in. And Theo Walcott with the header gone well wide. I've just decided to make a change. Tauvan's coming off for Sissoko on the right hand side. We need to attack quickly. So that's surely a foul. He took the man out first. Giroud's got the ball in the box. And he can't finish again. Over the top to Aaron's. Can it work? Yes it can. Through to Mitrovic. We're one on one with the keeper now. Can he get a shot away? Oh my god. He just needed to fire at the goal. Vinaldum cut inside. On his right foot. Can he shoot? And it's gone in the bottom corner. 1-0 against Arsenal. Oh my god. This is goal has come out of nowhere. Vinaldum got the ball on the left. Just ran past a couple of players. On the edge of the box just... Fired it into the bottom left corner. Petacek doesn't get anywhere near it. And we go 1-0 up. I'm going to go defensive now. We just need to sit back. Arsenal have got a corner now. Can we defend it? Koscielny nods it on. Tim Krul makes a good save. And the ref's given a foul for that. What is he thinking? That's not a foul at all. In the 77th minute as well. If we get a goal now, I'll be really disappointed. And they have done as well. Welbeck with the header. It's all come from that free kick. And it definitely wasn't. The referees had a shocker. Arsenal are going like all out attack, I think. So we might be able to get a goal there. Three to Mbolo. He's one on one with the keeper. Can we tramp it? Oh, and the pass to Vinaldum didn't work. And we've won it back there. I just made some changes. Vinaldum's got the ball. Can he shoot on his left foot this time? Good save from Petr Cech. In the 89th minute. Sanchez has got the ball. He's got Pashula. He's crossed it in. Get it away. They're still keeping the pressure on. Just hoping for a counter attack. Got the other end of the pitch now. Vinaldum's won it. Through to Mitrovic. He's got loads of space. Run towards the goal. Get past his man. He's, can he shoot? Oh, it's a good block. Oh, and Petr Cech punches out for a corner. And that is full time, guys. 1-1. One, one. We really didn't deserve to concede that lead in the end. Not from that goal, anyway. Overall, they probably deserve to beat us. So I will take the draw. But the referee, what a shocker he had given that free kick which he scored from. We've got some more player training now. What grades are we going to get? That's a decent week. B and then the rest are C's. And Bolo is really close to getting up to a 77 now, which is really positive. 
And wow, take a look at this guys, we're second in the league, we've got 8 points from 4 games, that's really good. But we have only scored 4 goals, so we do need to sort that out quite quick. And now we've got transfer deadline day, we've got 10 hours left, I don't think we'll be doing too much business, maybe one last signing, we'll see. And here is the player that we're going to try and sign, Nathan Redmond, we're going to offer £1 million and Riviera in exchange for him. And they've come back and said that they're not interested in him. I've got a plan B. And that's to offer Cissé. Just on his own. Let's see what they say to that. And Norwich have accepted the offer to swap Cissé for Nathan Redmond. That's a great bit of business in my opinion if we can pull it off. We're going to offer him 30 grand a week. Four years. Important first team player. Let's see if he accepts it. And here you can see guys, Redmond accepted the offer, he's joined the club, he can play right mid and left mid, he's going to be on the bench for now though, but he can come in for Aaron's on the left as well as Taravan on the right, he'll be an incredible player for us. We're in the last two hours now, I don't think anything else will happen, I don't think there's enough time for it to. No and that's it guys, we've signed Nathan Redmond on transfer deadline day, I think that's a great signing for the club, but that's about it for that day. Oh my god, this hasn't just happened. Mitrovic is out for four months. I don't believe it. We've just sold another striker as well to swap for Nathan Redmond. I don't believe it. A day after the transfer window as well. I could have signed a replacement striker if I knew about it. We've got another week of training now. Perez is coming in for Mitrovic because he's going to be playing instead of him from now on I think. And Perez gets an F, that's not good news. So now we've got a match against West Ham. This is their lineup. Andy Carroll's up front for them. Payet's playing in centre mid rather than Cam, that's interesting. But overall, their team's really solid. And here's my lineup Redmond's coming in on his debut, and Perez is playing as well instead of Mitrovic. Oh, Vinalum's giving it straight back to him. Mendy needs to come back and defend. He's crossed it into Andy Carroll. Against his former side, the head of flicked on, it was off our head. They've got a corner now. Oh, and Andy Carroll heads it back to one of his teammates. And it's hit the post. And it's gone in. 1-0 in the fifth minute. We couldn't have asked for a worse start. He crossed the ball in. We didn't get the ball away from the first header. They had a shot, hit the post, and Moses wins the header on the rebound. Just heads it in. Really disappointing. Nathan Redmond with a bit of skill. Can he beat another? Yes, he can. What about another? Gets a bit of space. Cuts inside, past him. Can he have a shot? Oh no, the keeper saves it. That would have been a wonder goal. Good tackle from Vinaldum. Now up to Perez, lay it off to Toliso. Play it out to Tavan. Kick it into space. Cut inside. Lay it off. Perez. Now Toliso. Now Vinaldum. Get on his stronger foot. Get into the box. Is that a penalty? And Bolo still got it. And it goes in. One all. We didn't need the penalty in the end. And Bolo manages to get past the keeper. It goes into the bottom corner. He just managed to flick it up and hits it on his left foot. Great little finish. Oh, they've got loads of space here. Lanzini into Carroll. He's got past the defence and it's a great tackle from Mbemba. Andy Carroll's on the ground. He's probably injured knowing him. And he managed to get a shot away. Play out to Mendy. Now Redmond. Can he go on another bit of a run? Cut inside again. On his right foot here. Can he have a long range shot? And it's gone into the top corner. Oh my god. What a goal. No word of a lie. That is the best goal I have scored on this game so far. He cut inside. Got past a couple of players. And just whacks it into the top corner. Adrian doesn't move for it. West Ham corner now. Get this one away, Nathan Redmond. Easy as you like. It's gone to the edge though, no one's there. He got a shot away. 
deflected. I thought it was dropping in over Tim Krul then. Tim Krul's come and got that. Can we break away here? Perez with the ball. Play it over the top. Tembolo. Through to Redmond. Can he get his second? He's running at the keeper. Finish. It's hit the post. But we get the rebound. Vinaldo makes it 3 1. It'd have been a great goal to score with Redmond. But I'll take it with Vinaldum. Gonna whip this in. Curl in towards the box. Embolo's header. Straight at the keeper. Into the second half now. We're in 3 1. I really didn't expect this. I thought we'd have a lack of goals up top now Mitrovic is injured. Good bit of skill from Tauvan. Can you get past another? Cross it in. Oh, and there's no one on the end of it. Now Jan Matt. Out to Tauvan. Can he finish from there? Outside of the fort, goes straight at the keeper. I've decided to make a double sub here. Colback and Heydaro are coming on for Taliso and Mendy. Crossed it in. Moses knocks it down to Malfatano. Shot goes well over. Perez with the ball. He's so tired. Won it back though. Off Tompkins. Now it's Yamat. Through to, through to Perez again. Tramp it. And Bowler with the open net. The keeper saves it, just gets back to his goal in time. And that is full time. We win 3-1 against West Ham, away from home as well. What a result that is. Now to another week of player training. It's the same players again. And those are half decent grades to be honest. Mbolo has gone up to a 77, which is great. Taliso is close to being a 77 as well. And that is going to end off the episode guys. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. This feels